Jaya, welcome, Lua, to Vital Gate. We just had this beautiful breakfast. How are you feeling today? Very good. Very good. Very inspired. We both have a kind <laughs> of little bit of a French accent, right? Mm -hmm. mm. So what's your next question? So my next question is, uh, I notice when I go out with you around people, it's always fun because you bring some, some kind of... Uh, meaningfulness and uh, spiciness mm -hmm. and it makes things more <laughs> juicy to, to to interact that's so sweet to hear you know <laughs> yeah so how do you do that how do you make uh, the chit chat go the chit chat <laughs> yeah we don't like chit chat we want something else than chit chat so the um, the the thing that works really well is um, first presence okay it's like when you are in a situation with somebody and you are just in this like frequency of just talking about nonsense and about things that are not really interesting or relevant then what you want is to be come back to the presence to the present moment and really focus on the person who is right there in front of you so just being there being like making eye contact connecting with that person on a really deep deep level and then you can ask yourself what is the highest possible potential that you have at this very moment with that person and uh, after a while, it just becomes natural, right? After a while, you start digging into what's the highest frequency. But in the beginning, it's something that you can think about. You can be like, okay, what is it that could happen right now that would bring this experience to a high potential, to a high resonance? And so there is something else that, uh, that you can consider. It is that instead of being just you and that person or you and a group of people it's like imagine that there is a third intelligence that there is actually an angelic power or an invisible that is sponsoring that and then you pose you look at that person you say okay let's consciously bring in that energy that is going to create the resonance that is going to help us enter into deep resonance with each other and so the next thing the next thing that you can ask yourself is what is the intention you know is the intention to create conflict, to be right, to enter in conversation or argument with that person, or is it to create resonance, to create a heart connection, to have sensuality, to engage into sex, you know, what is the highest possible vibration or frequency that you want to tap into, and what is the intention? For instance, with Lua, we were having this conversation yesterday, and as soon as we started looking for a mission, you know, we were like, okay, what's the mission? What is, in what mission are we right now? We started realizing that suddenly there was an alignment and a focus of the energy coming together. And we realized that the reason why we were spending time together yesterday is because we've got something to do together that we are doing right now here. <laughs> but we were, you know, yesterday also in a flow of actually going into different experiences and partnering to generate an impact in the world in and around us. So basically what we did is like being in resonance with each other to tap into a frequency that is going to impact in the world in and around us. So basically, instead of me being my own space and you being in your own space, what we are saying, we are joining force in that space and dedicating this, this uh, connection to something that is much vaster than ourselves. And this completely changes the dynamic. It changes the dynamic because you dedicate this moment of connection with somebody to something that is much vaster than yourself. And you can dedicate that, you know, you can dedicate that moment if you spend time with your kids, you can dedicate it if you spend time with your husband or wife or partner, lover, you know, romantic, uh, romantic partner. If you spend time with your team, you know, for instance, if you have a business, right? And what's, what's the real deep purpose of that business? Is it just to, to make lots of profit and make tons of money? No, this is over, you know, this is the old paradigm. The new paradigm is how are we going to contribute to the well-being, to the wellness of the planet and humankind? How are we going to help the planet raise its frequency and tap into the future and evolve together towards our highest possible potential. You know, this is the idea. So if you want a hint here is like, think about your mission, think about your individual mission and then you bring that into your interactions that you have with other people. And then of course there are certain qualities that are going to strengthen that. For instance, you know, respect, love, connection, presence, prioritizing what's happening right here. You know, for instance, I had that a few times with you, you know, yesterday we were chatting and then I check my cell phone, right? I get distracted on something. Mm -hmm. And then you go like, okay, what the fuck? You know, we're having <laughs> a conversation. You know, stay present here with me. I want you here present. 
And so there are no excuses, you know. This is something that we engineer, we design together, we create together an interaction, and it's a bubble of energy that we can consciously design. And you can do that consciously with any interaction that you have with anybody, including with nature, with your own space. It doesn't need to be another, another human being. It can be an animal, <laughs> you know. It can be the plants around you. It can be the food that you eat. But let's stick to interpersonal relationships, right, for now, because it's simpler. And the same, you can apply that when you are in a, in a romantic connection with somebody. You are in that romantic connection. It's instead of waking up in the morning and being like, okay, yeah, whatever. We're going just to flow with the day. You say, what is the mission today? What is the thing that we can do this morning that is going to lift us, to bring us to a higher resonance? And of course, you need to have energy, you need to have a focus, you, have to, you need to have tools, you need to have something that you can invest into that, so that you really tap into this high vibration and frequency. Yeah, this is the, the core idea. So to summarize, presence, mission, you know, dedication, focus, these kind of things. Love, respect, and a few values that you want to anchor in the core of that relationship in the core of that connection. Makes sense, right? Thank you. Yeah, we are powerful designers. Let's make it happen.